North Korea is on the verge of having an intercontinental ballistic missile, an ICBM, capable of hitting the American homeland with a thermonuclear warhead. There are increasing concerns that the Kim regime could launch a surprise attack from the North at any moment. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has ordered heightened readiness for war. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has kicked off 2024 with a dire warning to the U.S. North Korea an exclusive because uh, that country is in a period of unprecedented isolation. Beneath North Korea's glamorous facade lies an extremely mysterious world where all information is blocked and human freedom is stifled. High-rise buildings and grand military parades cannot hide the dark reality in this country. In today's video, we will enter the dark world of governance, where every hidden corner is hidden and every move, every thought is controlled. By delving into little-known secrets, we will. Feel the complex pace of life and the incredible challenges that people here face every day. Without making you wait any longer, we will soon discover eight dark, terrible truths that the Kim Jong-un government wants to keep hidden. Number 12. Kim Jong-un is super rich. While the country's citizens suffer from poverty, their leader, who is revered by North Koreans as a saint, lives a life of extreme luxury to the point of being unbearable. Based on statistics and spending reports, Kim Jong-un's net worth in 2018 was around $7.10 billion. According to The Squander, most of his assets are in bank accounts located around the world, including Central America, Europe, and Asia, and opened under various names. A U.S.-South Korean investigation conducted in 2013 found that 200 North Korean bank accounts were involved in the export of drugs, counterfeit money, and weapons of mass destruction. Not much is known about Kim Jong-un's lavish life. Most of what the world knows comes from defectors and NBA basketball star Dennis Rodman. It is believed the leader of North Korea has a huge fortune and he spends about $600 million a year. According to North Korean defectors, the supreme leader spends $30 million on alcohol each year. Mr. Kim, who is also said to enjoy super yachts, parties, fine wine, and cheese, have a five million super yacht, multiple bulletproof Mercedes limousines, and a private ski resort. Mr. Kim also owns an island and is also said to have many houses, in which his main apartment in Pyongyang has a 1000 seat cinema and a watch worth nearly $10 million. North Korea never mentions the leader's assets, but always asserts that their leader is doing everything to develop and affirm the country's position. So he is always revered by the people. Number 11. Office 39. North Korea has 200 bank accounts involved in smuggling, counterfeit money, drugs, and weapons of mass destruction to make money for President Kim Jong-un. So there must be a department to manage this work for the leader of Pyongyang. Office 39 is the place to take care of this for the president. Office 39, an agency believed to belong to the North Korean Workers' Party, is responsible for making money for the country's leadership in both legal and illegal forms. A North Korean defector who worked in Office 39 for five years revealed, Office 39 specializes in earning foreign currency for the leader. In North Korea, we call it the Revolutionary Fund, he explained. We export whatever we can. Gold, gems, agricultural product. We sell everything to make money for him. The world's intelligence community is only just beginning to learn about Office 39 and its activities. According to experts, Office 39 participates in both legal and illegal trading activities, bringing North Korea from $500 million to $2 billion each year in a context where North Korea is suffering from a series of harsh sanctions because of its nuclear and missile programs, Office 39 is clearly decisive for leader Kim Jong-un's power. Office 39 was established in the 1970s by the late North Korean President Kim Il-sung as a reserve fund. But gradually, it turned into a money printing machine to serve the president. 
The U.S. and the United Nations accuse Office 39 of running a network of illegal money-making. Activities such as counterfeit money, drug and weapons trafficking, North Korea's fake $100 bill, is the most realistic counterfeit money in the world. This was a major source of income for Office 39 until the U.S. government stepped in to stop. Office 39 is suspected of producing drugs to sell to the Japanese market and several other regions in Asia. Australian authorities in 2003 stopped a shipment of 50 kilograms of heroin from North Korea. In recent years, many arms shipments originating from North Korea have been seized around the world. In 2013, a cargo ship carrying ammunition and missile parts was seized in Panama. The owner of the ship, Chong Chong Gang Shipping Company, is said to be the front company of Office 39. North Korea is finding it increasingly difficult to carry out illegal activities because the world has become more vigilant. Therefore, Office 39 is now responsible for increasing revenue to serve the leader as well as the nuclear and missile program. Number 10. The Strictest Protection Force President Kim Jong-un on his trips abroad always brings with him a very powerful force of bodyguards called close bodyguards. There are up to four rounds of protection for President Kim Jong-un, including a team of jogging bodyguards as the first layer of protection. Normally, they travel in groups of 12 members, each of whom is assigned specific positions to ensure security for the president of North Korea. For example, at the Inter-Korean Summit in April 2018 and the North Korea Summit in Singapore in June of the same year, in the process of escorting the North Korean president, these bodyguards formed a ring surrounding the leader with a protective perimeter with 360-degree visibility to ensure coverage of all positions and nearest people. About three to five bodyguards moved in front of the escort group. Four to six other bodyguards moved on both sides near Mr. Kim Jong-un, with about four to five bodyguards walking behind. After jogging for a long distance, they got into their own car to follow and protect Chairman Kim Jong-un. The identity of this group of jogging bodyguards is still a mystery to the world. This division was established in 1963 and belongs to the North Korean People's Army under Kim Il-sung's leadership period. In the early years when it was established, this unit had about 10,000 people named the security department, and by 1974, it had a scale of up to 30,000, 40,000 people, and was renamed the General Security Department. After Mr. Kim Jong-il came to power, there was a period when the number of members in this general department reached 70,000, 80,000 people. In 2012, after Kim Jong-il passed away, this unit returned to its old name, the Security Department, but its strength increased with a membership of up to 120,000 people. Number 9. Poverty Being closed to the world has caused North Korea's economy to barely develop over the past decades. The lives of most North Korean citizens are at a very low level, and hunger is a constant presence for them. According to a report published by the Korea Development Institute, North Korea produced about 4.4 million tons of grain in 2022. However, North Korea is expected to need at least 5.75 million tons of food every year to provide for people. Thus, in 2023, North Korea faced a shortage of 135 million tons of food. This shortage is beyond North Korea's ability to handle it. The Kim Jong-un government needs to resume food trade or request food aid from China to compensate for this shortage. But in the past year, the Kim government has not taken any action to resolve this situation, and of course, many North Korean citizens have been tormented by hunger and even lost their lives due to famine. In fact, in North Korea, there have been many terrible famines causing terrible consequences in terms of human life and the economy. But it seems that it is still not enough to make the authorities in this country learn a lesson. North Korean citizens still have to live in poverty year after year. Number 8. Weird Rules 
The regime here often imposes a lot of regulations and restrictions, strongly controlling information and almost all people's behavior. We will tell you about some rules and principles that only this country applies. For example, no wearing blue jeans, no access to the World Wide Web or Wi-Fi, no foreigners using North Korean money, banning phone calls abroad, banning leaving North Korean territory, having to cry when meeting leaders. When you are an ordinary citizen in North Korea, freedom is the most luxurious thing you can think of, even if your emotions are controlled. Do you think there is anything that the Pyongyang government cannot grasp? In fact, these strong regulations and control systems in North Korea are said to have the purpose. Of controlling people's consciousness and keeping them in the country, they will block all world. Information by banning the internet, calling freedom of movement, and then propagate to. People that the outside world is very bad, poor and dangerous. Number 7. Terrible Punishments have you ever thought that one day you will be executed just for watching a movie or just for crying without tears? It's hard to believe, isn't it? That's what many North Korean citizens are facing. Along with strange regulations, the North Korean government also imposes countless terrible punishments. Among them, up to 20 crimes have been sentenced to death by the country's government. Along with China, North Korea is the country with the highest number of people executed in the world over the past five decades. Non-governmental organizations continuously warn about the human rights situation in North Korea and say that the Pyongyang government regularly organizes public executions without trial of people who commit less serious crimes, such as stealing copper from factories, prostitution, spreading Korean media information, etc. Executions can be carried out right in prison to intimidate other prisoners or in public places, near schools or markets. JWJ tries to identify and map places with mass graves or executions, providing additional documents for the case that brings North Korea before an international court on charges of crimes against humanity. However, up to now, everything has not been able to be done successfully because the investigation to get information is extremely difficult. Number 6. Purging When a new leader comes to power, the first thing they do is probably purge opponents in the old apparatus and those who could affect their power later. In the case of the North Korean government, the purge is even more fierce when power is concentrated in only one person. Mr. Kim Jong-un came to power in 2011 after his father, President Kim Jong-il passed away. Over the years, international media have often cited unofficial sources as saying that the North Korean leader has purged many high-ranking officials, even relatives, for reasons related to competition. Kim Jong-un's uncle Jong Song-ik was executed in 2013 on charges of being a traitor and having committed a series of heinous crimes. Among those executed were Jiang Kai-sun and her husband, Jiang's sister, North Korean ambassador to Cuba, Jiang Yong-jin, North Korean ambassador to Malaysia, Jiang Yong-chol, Mr. Jiang's nephew and two sons. In addition to the purge of his uncle and uncle's family, President Kim Jong-un also shocked the world when he was later accused of assassinating his biological brother. In 2017, the half-brother of North Korea's President Kim Jong-un died in a mysterious assassination with VX nerve agent at Kuala Lumpur International Airport in Malaysia. The perpetrator and motive are unknown. The Pyongyang government has never acknowledged information about Kim Jong-un's death because on paper, the person who died suddenly was named Kim Chol. However, the Korean side affirmed that the cause of death of two people close to Mr. Kim Jong-un, mentioned above, is related to a coup plot that was secretly outlined after Mr. Kim Jong-un came to power. Yeah, in August 2012, Mr. Jiang Song-ik met with then Chinese President Hu Jintao and proposed a plot to overthrow Kim Jong-un and replace him with his half-brother with the support of China. However, Mr. Zhou Yongkeng, or ally of Mr. Kim Jong-un in the Chinese government, secretly informed Mr. Un about that plot. Of course, Mr. Kim Jong-un went into a rage, and then Mr. Jung was executed. 
Although Mr. Kim Jong-un is considered to have no intention of seizing power with his position as the eldest son in the family that has led North Korea since the founding of the country, it is very possible that he will be punished, considered a risk, and being purged was inevitable. The power struggle in North Korea is extremely fierce. To maintain their position, generations of North Korean presidents have not hesitated to apply the strongest measures against even their relatives. This country not only faces problems such as the imposition of extreme control, political dictatorship, and international isolation, but also faces famine and restrictions on freedom. Individuality and lack of information, although we only see a small part of the reality. Behind the facade, understanding and spreading information about this situation can be the first. Step to creating change and hope for the future of people living in these difficult circumstances. Thank you for watching and hope that this message will spread to support positive change. In the future of North Korea. Number 5. North Korea's Air Koryo is the worst airline in the world. Only one airline in the entire globe has been deemed awful enough to receive a pitiful one-star rating from the most reputable airline critics, Skytrax. Air Koryo is the national carrier of North Korea. According to the Center for Aviation, it has a fleet of fewer than 20 Russian-built aircraft and offers flights to China, Russia, Switzerland, Bulgaria, Hungary, the Czech Republic, and more. The aircraft are based at Pyongyang Sunan International Airport. But what distinguishes Air Koryo as one of the worst in a sector that already faces widespread poor perception? Food safety, customer service, or just a little bit of everything? Recently, Australian biomedical engineer Mark Fahi flew to Pyongyang and posted photos of his journey on Flickr. These images, along with a few others who documented their travels, have been compiled to give you an idea of what traveling on Air Koryo is like. For instance, Skytrax has virtually entirely one-star general ratings for Air Koryo, which is not quality certified. The majority of reviews agree that the flight attendants are routine yet courteous and efficient. The grooming and presentation category gives them a three-star rating. Before starting, the attendants distribute a propaganda pamphlet, and we obviously know who the subject of the front pages is. According to Jason Burbeck on Skytrax, they always play revolutionary marching music to go with your Pyongyang times. Before takeoff and landing, there are much more, but let's keep it as it is already. Number 4. Power Cut Every Night A wall-mounted sign that reads, Prosperous and Powerful Nation, is located in the turbine hall of North Korea's Wonsan No. 5 hydroelectric facility. But the North is anything but when it comes to power. Under the leadership of Kim Jong-un, the nation has made quick strides in its weapons development, claiming in the last two years to have detonated an H-bomb and fired intercontinental missiles that can reportedly reach much of the U.S. mainland. But over 70 years after its founding, the North continues to have persistent energy shortages, which are best illustrated by nighttime satellite images of the country, which show it as a large, dark quadrilateral sandwiched between China's and the South's dazzling lights. For a capital city, Pyongyang is exceptionally dark. The moon frequently shines brighter than the feeble glow emanating from residences. The city's balconies are covered in solar panels, and at night students congregate to read books by streetlights. A massive mosaic depicting the mythological birthplace of Kim Jong-il, Kim's father, and the previous North Korean leader dominates the turbine hall at the Wonsan power plant. The complex's total capacity is 60,000 kilowatt hours, but actual production is only a small portion of that, according to Chief Engineer Cho Young-Jun. Several meters below, thousands of liters of water thunder through the generators every hour, spinning the turbines to produce electricity for a region on the East Coast. Number 3. Kim Jong-un's Wife Miss Ri Solju, wife of North Korean President Kim Jong-un, is considered the most mysterious wife in the world. She often appears in public with the leader, but strangely, there is almost no information about her. 
Miss Ri Solju was personally appointed by late chairman Kim Jong-un as his daughter-in-law. Therefore, when she became first lady, Ri Solju's music records were ordered to be revoked by North Korea. In addition, Miss Ri Solju is also suspected of having acted in pornographic films, the public execution of leader Kim Jong-un's ex-girlfriend, and 11 actors on charges of producing pornographic films is suspected to be a method of destroying evidence related to his wife's once debauched life. Previously, South Korea reported that President Kim Jong-un's ex-girlfriend, singer Hyun Song-wool of the Unhasu band, along with 11 other famous. Actors were arrested for violating North Korea's regulations on pornography. All prisoners were publicly executed with machine guns in the presence of family members and many other famous singers. All 12 prisoners executed by firing squad were singers, musicians, and dancers in the Unhasu band with Miss Hyun and the Wong Jae Soon Light Band. They were accused of filming themselves having sex and then producing it into pornographic tapes to be sold on the market. After the above incident, both the Unhasu band and the Wong Jaisen Light Band were dissolved. Mr. Kim is said to have met singer Hyun 10 years ago. However, late President Kim Jong-un did not accept this relationship and forced Mr. Kim Jong-un to break up with Miss Hyun. After that, Miss Hyun married a soldier and gave birth to a child. Many rumors say that after getting married, Miss Hyun continued to meet with President Kim. It is worth mentioning that before getting married, President Kim's wife, Mrs. Ri Solju, was a member of the Unhasu band. Therefore, many people doubt the possibility that the young leader decided to order the execution of his ex-girlfriend to hide his young wife's once depraved life. Number 2. Ineffective Military When South Korean soldiers discovered the wounded North Korean defector in a cornfield, he had an unusual demand. Shoot me in the head, he pleaded. It was a long and treacherous journey from a guard post in the North Korean DMZ to freedom in the South, where the defector, identified only by his family name, lay sprawled between a pile of leaves and a rock after his dash for the border. North Korean soldiers shot at him at least five times as he raced across the line, and he was struck in the knee and elbow and lost so much blood he was likely to die without prompt treatment. But the border guards were unable to assist. Their assigned mission is to prevent North Koreans from fleeing, and aiding a defector would be grounds for punishment. So the soldiers hesitated before rushing O to the hospital where doctors struggled to save him. He underwent two rounds of surgery to repair his intestines and other internal organs, and he is still not out of the woods. On Wednesday, doctors said he is suffering from kidney failure. His kidneys were shutting down because they were not receiving enough blood, despite all best efforts, said the head of surgery at Aju University Hospital, Dr. Lee Kuk Jong. Number 1. Three Generations of Punishment in North Korea, the concept of three generations of punishment is applied to those who commit perceived crimes against the state. This means that not only the person accused of the crime, but also their family, including parents, children, and even grandchildren, can face severe punishment. The regime believes that punishing multiple generations of a family will deter others from engaging in activities deemed disloyal to the state. This policy has led to widespread fear and self-censorship among the population, as individuals are not only concerned about their own safety, but also the well-being of their entire family. The punishment can range from imprisonment in labor camps to execution, and it often depends on the severity of the alleged offense. The regime uses fear and intimidation as tools to maintain control and suppress any potential dissent. The harsh and collective punishment of multiple generations serves as a powerful deterrent against actions or expressions that may be perceived as a threat to the regime's authority. This country not only faces problems such as the imposition of extreme control, political dictatorship and international isolation, but also faces famine and restrictions on freedom. Individuality and lack of information 
Although we only see a small part of the reality behind the facade, understanding and spreading information about this situation can be the first step to creating change and hope for the future. Of people living in these difficult circumstances, thank you for watching and hope that this message will spread to support positive change. In the future of North Korea,